Northern Ireland's Assembly will be recalled tomorrow. This is the latest attempt to elect a new speaker and to debate implementing crucial organisation... Don't know what that says. What sort of word is that? Organ <laughs> donation. donation legislation. 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 GB News Northern Ireland reporter Dougie Beatty can join us live now from Stormont, which is where the, um, the Northern Ireland Parliament is supposed to sit, but doesn't really, Dougie. And, you know, obviously, uh, you know and I know, the whole thing is a blooming mess. And if this was happening in Scotland, or if this was happening in Wales, there would be much more uproar about it if it was happening in England. But it just is a mess. We want it resolved, Dougie. How, is, are we any closer to getting it resolved? Well, no. Uh, well, no and yes is the answer to that. We are expecting a deal to be sort of coming within the next few days, we believe. Uh, well, the shape of a deal between uh, London and Brussels to try and unlock the protocol, which then unlocks the Good Friday Agreement, which then unlocks consent and would let the parties back in here again. Yes, tomorrow they're going to be talking about Dahi's law. Dahi is a very brave young man. I've met him a few times. And he uh, needs a heart transplant. And in Northern Ireland, of course, you can't have organ donation. Unlike other parts of the UK, you have to opt out. In Northern Ireland, of course, you have to give your consent for organ donation to actually happen. And before the institutions behind us collapsed just about a year ago over the protocol, uh, that all the parties here were agreed that that could go through. But, of course, it didn't make it through the legislation behind in time for the collapse of Stormont. So, therefore, uh, it is... there's we're still operating on the old system of uh, transplant and organ donation. But there is legal precedent set on this because, of course, Westminster is sovereign. It is a sovereign government. And the last time this place collapsed in 2016, when Sinn Féin stayed out for three years, uh, same-sex marriage and abortion was all... Uh, those laws were passed in Westminster. So Chris Heaton-Harris could uh, well do that uh, and, and avoid any of the, uh, the sort of showmanship... That that will go on here tomorrow to try and force unionists back into the parse joint executive. And, of course, unionists are staying out because they say that uh, the protocol overrides Article 6 and the acts of the union, uh, and that, of course, comes because of Brexit. So the deals that are looking now between the UK and the EU will start to show us some shape within the next few days, we believe, and hopefully that will unlock what's happening here. Thanks for the insight, mate. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much indeed. And that majestic backstrap backdrop. Beautiful behind building, him. beautiful. It's like our Colosseum. It's absolutely it looks, gorgeous. It looks like all lit up what's there. What's that? It's in Athens. What's what's it in there? Uh, the Colosseum. Is the Colosseum? Colo no, oh, no. Colosseum's in Rome. Oh, what is it? Oh no, don't. I've got I've got menopause brain fog. Now don't start doing this first thing in the morning. <laughs> what is Dougie? What's the building in Athens that that sits up on the hill? The. Uh, the Parthenon. The Parthenon. Parthenon. <laughs> it is. A... I think it is. A, yeah, but uh, uh, we, we, the Stormont looks like the Parthenon, <laughs> but except there are more visitors to the Parthenon. But anyway, well, there anyway, that sort of looks. I was going to. I was going to say more people use that. Yeah. <laughs> more people use that. This will make a great golf course behind us, actually. Fair oh, point. Dear. Thank you, Dougie. Dougie Beatty, there, our Northern Ireland reporter.